Well, fans of the Apostle Island ice caves were disappointed to hear there's just not enough ice on Lake Superior to safely get to the caves this year. So we offer you the next best thing. Boyd Hooper visited during the polar vortex of 2014 when more than 100,000 people made the trek to the caves. Tonight, a look back at that special time and place. One drip. Here we go, Maddie. That's where this started. We're here to see it and experience it. Before drops became a symphony. Wow! <laughs> and Lake Superior created. They really are gorgeous. A gallery. It's awesome. It's beautiful. At Apostle Island's National Lakeshore, the cruelest of winters has delivered the kindest of views. This is the blessing of the polar vortex. Remnants of lake waves form the base and seepage through porous sandstone the ceilings. You've got the little hoarfrosts on, on the icicles. Crystal chandeliers. It's, it's just like you have a frosted icicles. This is just spectacular. Really pretty. And columns that would dwarf a southern mansion. It's hard to get the scale of it. I finally had to take some pictures with people in it because you just can't um, get the scale of it. Normally, a treat only for those blessed with wings. Bald eagle. But for the first time in five years. That's the big lake out there. Thick ice is providing passage for all. The Park Service credits social media for a river of people flowing over the lake. On weekends, their parked cars line the roads three miles back. Looked like the state fair. A swell of 10,000 people a day crawling in and out of the caves. Who knows when it's going to come again? More than five times the park's busiest day ever. All right, should I go first? Before this. Are you claustrophobic? <laughs> I am. <laughs> That's Kathy so Smith to, exploring um, the caves. Put your head up in that corner. With Jonathan Malott. And then rotate your body around. A care photojournalist in cold pursuit. Now you got to kind of turn your body. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Winter is my favorite season. To take this picture of Kathy encased in ice, sunlight streaming through. I love this part. To the quiet. But for the shifting of the ice and countless other reminders. Listen. The lake shore is alive. Like your toilet hasn't stopped uh, running. Yeah. It's, I'm sure it's coming down from above, burning inside the pillar. A snapshot in time. There we go. We got her. We got it. A treasure hunt. And a playground. It's like a jungle gym. Who knew we discovered great? Oh my gosh. Just when we thought this winter was up to no good. Mother Nature does the best artwork, you know, and she's done a beautiful job. Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News, on Lake Superior. So thank you, God, and enjoy. <laughs> Well, on the busiest day of 2014, some 14,000 people visited the ice caves. The caves last opened again in 2015, but only for 11 days. Access has remained closed every year since due to warmer weather.